So, for the first demonstration of reshape package, we're going to first install this package and we're going to use the data sets that is contained with this, within this package, which is called French fries. So, I'm going to go ahead and install this package. So, now that I've installed the reshape package, what we're going to do is we are going to load this package. Okay, and we're just going to get all these um, outputs, but don't worry about it. The package has already been loaded. So, in order to use um, this data, I'm just going to first say French. This data set, French fries, and I'm going to overview the first three rows. Okay, so this is the first three rows. We can also look at the last three rows of the, this data set. Okay, so for now we have not done anything. Uh, we have not used MET function, but here we just listed the basic structure of our data set. Okay, so what we can see from this data set is that we have data at each point in time, right? A subject, this subject was given two french fries to taste, right? So these french fries, they had undergone one of three treatments. You can also go ahead and try to understand this package by going to this help window, right? So this is a sensory data from French fries experiment, right? So you can just go ahead and learn about all these variables that are found within this data set. But in order to demonstrate French fries, we are going, excuse me, in order to demonstrate merged function, right? We can deduce from the data that at each point in time a subject was given two french fries to test that had undergone one of three experiments, okay? Then the subject rated each of the fries using a criteria that is defined in the other remaining columns, okay? So what we want to do in this case is we want to determine the IP variables and also determine the measurement variables. So the IP variables are these variables that are fixed. Say, for example, we take time, we take treatment, we take subject, and we take this variable, which is rep. So if we go to here, we're going to understand what this variable mean is, is this replicate variable. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to use melt function in order to restructure our data, right? So now that we have identified the IP and measurement variables, right? So let us clear the console. So we want to use the melt function. So let's say we're going to use this one. We're going to use melt function. So what we're going to do is we're going to say melt, right? And we're going to pass in the data which is French fries. And then after that, we're going to say id dot variables, right? So here we're going to pass in um, this vector that contains our id variables, which is, um, and then it's treatment, then it's subject, and then we have this replicate, okay? Uh, let's let me say then we have subject and let's run this um, so what can be an error let us check so we're getting an expected symbol error we forgot to add in Let's run this and then if we can see 
our new long and thin data set which is fry melt okay and say we only print three okay so what have happened is that we have called melt function right so after calling melt function we have specified id variables okay so all the remaining variables were treated as measurement variables okay so what we are getting here is that this um new data let me call tail so we can look also into the last of the three observations so what has happened here is that this um this resulting data set is a very long thin data frame right so if we can look at the column names right so the column names for the measurement variables they have been stacked into a single column and this column is called variable right remember we specified the id variables and we included all the other variables that existed in our data set right say for example let's just remember what our data had looked like for french fries right now it's was in history so we took these as our id variables and what has happened is that it has stacked all the other remaining variables into a single column that we call um, a variable right so what has happened is that this column right so this column here is called value so this column is that uh, this column is actually corresponds to um, the values that are contained in this um, new column which is called a variable right so these values just um, contains the associated values for the measurement variables so all of these associated values they have been stacked into this new column right so this is how we can use um maths function in order to find um in order in order to restructure our data next we're going to look at casting 